Welcome back to This Week. I'm pleased to be joined by Judy Sachs. She is the Community Relations Director for the Jewish Federation of Nashville. Welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Nice to see you. The Federation issued a statement kind of getting out front of the whole Islamic mosque issue in Murfreesboro and around the country, specifically in Murfreesboro, the, the violence going on there, the, the disputes going on there, the objection going on there. Why the feel, why the need, you think, to kind of get ahead of this issue? Well, I think the fact that uh, we are a Jewish community, we recognize discrimination, we recognize the, um, the, the voices that are out there that are, are screaming the rhetoric that's going on. We've been through this kind of thing before as Jews throughout the centuries. And I think we just felt that people in this country have a right to worship where they want as long as it does fit with the zoning laws mm -hmm. and the, the legal regulations. And we just felt that we should be on board and let people, let the, the community know that that's where we stand. In your statement, you say that the leadership of the Jewish community of Nashville believes in civility and the conduct of all kinds of parties involved, and especially the resolution of these disputes. You know about religious persecution. Is there empathy here? Oh, there's absolute empathy. I mean, if you just look back at, our, at the Jewish uh, community's history throughout the, the centuries, we have been the victims in a number of different ways, a uh, number of different countries all over the world, of these kinds of, of things, violent uh, actions against Jewish people because they're Jewish, um, rhetoric that results in violence, and uh, innumerable, innumerable things. So we know what it is to be at the receiving end of that, and it's so important to have civil discussions, and I think we've lost sight of that in this country now. It's the loudest voices that uh, ring out, and other people are intimidated by that and don't speak out. Some say this is not an issue of religious freedom, but rather an issue of homeland security. How do you deal with those who have those kinds of feelings? And they're, hard fe they're heartfelt feelings. And, I, you know, I am afraid of, of terrorism. I mean, there's, there's, there's no doubt. I don't think there's anyone in this country that feels comfortable and, and believes that there won't be any terrorist acts. But to paint a broad brush across a whole group of people or a religion and say that because some people in that religion are violent or terrorists or whatever is totally wrong. It's totally not the way America is, is built. We believe in people's rights. When they violate those rights, then it's time to take action. But right now, they're not violating rights. They have, especially if we're talking about Murfreesboro, they have the right the legal right. They've gone through all of the, uh, the the regulations. They have the legal right to build a house of worship in Murfreesboro, despite what um, some people are saying. We see nationwide, we see the objection to the mosque in New York City near Ground Zero, not at the site, but near Ground Zero. And just a couple of blocks away, there's been a mosque there for many, many years. The Islamic Center in Murfreesboro has been there for many, many years. This is an expansion. In Antioch, they wanted to build a mosque. There's some op opposition there. Why do you think now, suddenly, we're seeing all this opposition? And if it is related to 9-11, it's nine years ago. Why wouldn't that happen earlier? I'm not sure it's so related to 9-11. I think it's with the political atmosphere. Um, people running for office have... have made it a bigger issue than, than it would normally be. They're, they're preying on people's uh, fears. They're, they're really creating more of a, a, an atmosphere of fear than there, there could possibly ever be. What do you be. say to those folks in the Islamic Center though, that are trying to move forward with their faith, trying to, to uh, do their belief in, in, in a legal fashion? As they deal with this criticism, they seem to be moving forward despite the criticism. And I'm glad they are because I think it's important that they show that they are doing the right thing, they are citizens of this country, they have the same rights as everyone else, and that they want to be able to worship, to be able to meet together as a community of their own. Um, our community, the Jewish community, worships where we want. We have, we have a number of synagogues in town, we have a community center. We, we have that right, why shouldn't they? Finally, are you concerned, as we see some of the violence, that that violence could increase, that people could get hurt because of this objection? Oh, I really have this fear that that will happen, and, and it's, it's very upsetting to me because it, it shouldn't happen. This is America.
this is America. Most of our uh, our own families, whoever we are, came here from somewhere else. We all faced discrimination when we came here from somewhere else. And we should be the ones that are welcoming the new people, the welcoming new religions, new ethnicities, new everything to our country. As long as they are, are taking care of, of becoming active and productive citizens in this country, they should be welcomed. Judy Sachs, the Jewish Federation of National, appreciates your time and your insight. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Stay with us. This week continues in a moment.